Hey guys, Hunter from Theme Park Hunting here, and today, whew, this is cool. If you can't tell already, we're here at Carowinds here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and South Carolina, technically. It's great to walk in around here in VM Roar. Park is so many VMs. Park is so many everything. First ever time here. I think you know where I'm going first. Let's head over there. So crazy being here in person. Gonna get a locker and get a ride. Let's go. back in line. Okay, it's not my number one, but holy crap, that thing is so bad! All right, I've heard a lot of bad things about this. Let's, let's try it. Yeah, this ride over here exists. It is okay, drop is good, and the first two hills are pretty decent. That's it, that's literally it. Uh, okay, I don't know what to do next. I don't know the layout of this park, but this ride's right here. So I guess we'll do that. I don't really know. This park's awesome, though. So, Carolina Cyclone kind of slapped for no reason. Uh, <laughs> the drop in the back was really good, which is typical on aero loopers. But, like, the inversions were intense. It was pretty rough and had head banging, but I liked it. I don't know. Like, it was actually a good ride. I, I highly doubt it is for anyone else, but for me, I liked it. Why was this good? I liked it a lot. It was intense. It was. It, was, it had some head banging, but it really wasn't bad. That was really good. I like that. I'm kind of glad. There's not been one coaster here I bring yet that I'm like, eh, it sucks. Like you guys are like, Caro Carowinds has a horrible supporting lineup. Where? Every coaster here is good. Carolina Gold Rusher is one of the weirdest coasters I've ridden. It, it doesn't do anything, but its layout is just so bizarre. Now I have to do this. First standard boomerang, wish me luck. All right, we're back here. It wasn't bad. It was okay, but it, it didn't, I don't know. The Cobra was horrible. But other than that, it was pretty good. It was intense, we'll give it that. Uh, I can see why the restraints helped. That, that would be some jarring head banging if those restraints weren't there. I'm not a fan of them, but they definitely improved the ride. Copperhead Strike is sick. Uh, it's not as good as I thought, but the airtime is awesome. The, the launch exists. But I love this thing. This thing is awesome. It is an insane ride, so good. Not It has its forces. The transitions are insane. The hang time. Yeah, this is your ride. I love this thing. This is awesome. I'm gonna try to get in the front and come back. Lethal, time for the front. Copperhead Strike is like low-key one of my favorite coasters. I love that thing so much. Now, it's time for Afterburn. I've heard a lot of good things about this, and it looks whippy, so let's give it a shot. It just came off Afterburn, and wow, that was awesome. That might be my new favorite invert. You know, the first half was like every other invert, and then we go into the Batwing. Monsoon's Batwing doesn't touch it. I said it. So intense, so whippy. Banshee might have some competition now. 
That was awesome. Just tear this thing down. That was brutal. Oh my gosh, why was that so bad? Ow! So I wrote Blue Blasters and some of the kitty creds. Blue Blasters was good. And Woodstock Express, uh, Woodstock Express was sweet. Uh, back row airtime was awesome. Tried to get Wilderness Run cred, they didn't let me on. Disappointed, so we're taking a small break. Getting some footage from the timidity. I still haven't done it yet. I should, I should go do that. I'm gonna go do that. is a solid hyper. The back row is where it's at on that ride though. Back row on it is awesome. A little shaky, but super fun. Really good. Front row. Don't waste your time. Time for the last major coaster here, Nighthawk. And uh, I've done Firehawk. I'm doing Batwing later this trip as well. So let's see if we can do all the Coma Flying Dutchmans. This was the first ever flying coaster. So I'm pretty excited for it. Let's go check it out. So we in the sunglasses now, but I wrote Nighthawk. Oh, that made me miss Firehawk so much. It was so good. It was intense. It, it, had a, it was definitely wasn't as smooth, but the corkscrews, in my opinion, was like crazier than the uh, barrel. It was awesome. There's not one bad coaster here. I think my least favorite of the day is Carolina Gold Rusher. That'll be it. So I'm gonna get my last credit of the day which was ricochet the wild mouse it had such a long line when i walked in and it's already looking shorter so get a ride on this a couple more on fury and i'm gonna head out so let's get the last credit so ricochet sucked because it's a wild mouse and i hate wild mouse but uh that's that Credit completion for Carowinds. I'm gonna go get more rides on Fury before I go. Let's go do that. And just like that, that's gonna end my day here at Carowinds. Fury is one heck of a coaster. I rode in the front again. It's incredible. This park is so much better than I expected. Every coaster here was good. There wasn't truly one bad roller coaster here. It was such a blast. Um, I'm worn out, but wow, this park is a blast. Highly's just coming here, not just for Fury, for the other rides here. This is awesome. So next stop, King's Dominion. As always, it's a wonderful theme park. I'll see you guys later and follow the thrill.